everyone, Rocky here, and yes my friends, it's true, Constantine has returned. This video is going to be my top moments of episode 9 of Constantine, and then I'm going to give some general impressions on the episode as well. So jumping right into some moments that I enjoyed about the episode is we got to see a glimpse at the power of this uh, Bruharia uh, cult that Constantine is going to be going up against, and we get the strong impression they do not want Constantine around. I mean, they've already sent the Evanche demon after him. In this case, they actually summoned up a snake demon. A very powerful snake demon. And actually, it ends up getting referred to as the serpent from Eden that tricked Adam and Eve. So it's the trickster. So even though it appeared, you know, they defeated him in this episode, as it is a trickster demon, I imagine we will be seeing him again. I thought he was represented very well, a very, very creepy demon. I mean, the fact that he could, took on someone else's skin, and um, which is kind of a reference to the Bruharia cult itself from the comics, is they were known to actually take the skin of those they killed and wear them as suits, so that's kind of a sly reference to the cult from the comics, but yeah, this snake demon was incredibly creepy and very well uh, presented, I thought. Now, I did really enjoy how we kind of got a look of uh, John through the eyes of the other characters in particular Anne Marie, Zed, and Chaz as they each kind of talk a bit about John and you know during his ordeal of being possessed and everything and we really get a sense that Zed is starting to really kind of care about Constantine she's kind of letting her guard down a little bit when it comes to him uh, speaking of the Ivanchi demon I thought the effects overall were greatly improved over the previous episode. The digital work seemed to be a bit more polished and it's just a creepy, 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 creepy demon. I mean, the, in the comics this thing was essentially created from uh, basically the, the body parts of deceased children. So I mean, it's very dark, very creepy and uh, in the comics as well, it was basically summoned by the Bruharia to take out Constantine's friends. So Again, keep your eyes peeled. We'll probably be seeing this demon pop up again. Um, definitely hope we do. Not that I want to see any other characters die, but it's just a very creepy and well-modeled uh, demon. Um, so, all, overall, like the biggest thing I got from this episode or the biggest thing that was impressed upon me was Matt Ryan uh, as Constantine. I mean, at this point, he's fully immersed himself into the role of Constantine. I can't really picture anyone else playing this character and straight from the beginning with this scene from him inviting Pazuzu into himself um just as a side note Pazuzu is actually the same demon name um of the demon reference in the exorcist series so I thought that was kind of kind of cool there but yeah just from that first scene of him inviting him in and his performance is just crazy overall I mean they did use some digital effects to represent the the possession but a large part of the possession was portrayed by Matt Ryan himself. I mean, we saw him contort his face in fits of anger and rage. Um, it just showed how hard John was fighting this this demon king. Now, Pazuzu isn't the king of all demons in this. He's actually just a demon king. Uh, in other media and things like that, there's, uh, likewise with Constantine, there's a hierarchy in uh, in hell. There's lords and kings and um, dukes and things like that. So, I mean, don't take it that he's like, you know, the lord and king of all demons. He was just, you know, he set himself up above other demons in his certain realm, basically. So he's a highly, highly powerful demon that uh, Constantine invited into himself. Um, but even with all this, he still has the balls to joke around about being possessed. Which was just, I mean, it's classic Constantine. I mean, he, he just, he finds humor as much as he can in any situation to kind of divert his feelings. But in this, we see him delve deep into himself and we see him realize that, you know, he's going to be going to hell and he's coming to terms with that. So with uh, Matt Ryan's performance, we see true desperation and fear within within John's uh, facial expressions and voice when he's speaking with Manny in the prison and you know how Manny is just like you didn't ask for heaven's help you invited a demon in and you know he basically but he still believes in John 
And he's like, you need to get through this crucible, basically. So, and, you know, likewise, we see anger and hurt with Constantine when he's, uh, uh, and, you know, there's a bit of understanding him when he's talking with Anne-Marie and how she had shot him. You know, he he's hurt that she did it, but some part of him has to understand why she did it. And, you know, we see that, you know, Constantine also gets basically a, a dose of what um, Gary Lester went through in the previous episode of Feast of Friends as Gary, you know, had a demon inside of him that was basically eating him from the inside out um, that Constantine put there inside of him. You know, granted, it, you know, Gary, you know, chose that to to happen, but still John put that on his friend, so he's kind of reaping what he's sown. So we're going to see a lot of that with John at this point is seeing him progress character-wise to move on beyond the what he is now kind of thing. So kind of pushing him more into that eventual hero role that, you know, he's supposed to take on. Um, so, yeah, all, all over the range of emotions Matt Ryan showed. And, I mean, I thought it just, his performance just blew me away. I mean, he has such dedication to this character. And likewise with pretty much all the other actors on the show is they have such dedication and care to their characters and are very immersive uh, actors when it comes to their characters. So uh, really enjoying that aspect of the show. So all in all, this was a very powerful and well-written episode, I thought. It gave us as the audience a bigger look at this, you know, rising darkness, this brujaria that uh, John and his friends are going to be facing. Was it over the top in some moments? Yeah, sure, I'll admit it, it was. But in this case, it worked. It seemed to fit. And I, for one, definitely enjoyed this episode a great deal. I hope you guys did as well. So, looks like in the next episode, we're going to get our first look at Felix Faust. Uh, so, it should be a pretty great episode. Uh, Felix Faust in the comics uh, was kind of a minor villain. He popped up a lot. He was one of those annoying villains that just kind of was a thorn in the side of the Justice League. He was in the animated series as well quite a bit in particular with Wonder Woman and dealing with her, but he's, you know, potentially a very powerful uh, magician. He is basically kind of a relic hunter. He looks for powerful magical items, and he's very keen on making deals with higher-powered entities. So, you know, I'm sure we'll be seeing some aspects of that, and it definitely appears to be a more Chaz-centric episode as it's going to deal with his daughter. So we're going to get some more information about Chaz, which is what I've been waiting for. Um, just to kind of see what's going on with him and how exactly he's essentially immortal now, right? So hopefully we'll get some more information on that. Now, I know right now the show's future is still pretty rocky and certain, and there's a lot of rumors going around that it's still going to be canceled, but, you know, the ratings compared to other shows is pretty good considering the time slot it's in and the fact that it hasn't been getting that much marketing push from uh, the studio. A lot of the uh, promotions have been going on from the actors themselves over Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Um, and, you know, it hasn't actually had a UK release, which strikes me as very odd considering that Constantine is, you know, essentially a British superhero. So if anyone should be getting a UK release, it should be him, or at least international release. So that's something I think that's really hurting the show as well, but... Um, overall, I am definitely sticking with this show and behind it 100%. I hope you guys are as well. Um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite part of this episode was. And if you have any questions on any of the topics or characters presented in this episode, go ahead and put those down below as well. I'll be happy to go over that information with you. And if you've enjoyed my video, I'd ask you to go give me a thumbs up and share the video. And please subscribe to my channel as I will be doing... Uh, continuing reviews of Constantine as well as the other Marvel and DC television shows that come up. Um, if you have gone ahead and subscribed to my channel already, thank you very much. I really sincerely do appreciate you coming on board and I so hope you're enjoying my videos. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day now. Bye!